Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that I'm going to show you is some more breaking data that's coming out of the Georgia tragedy. This time, yeah, the gun controllers better start doing some backpedaling, and they better start doing some backpedaling quick. Because what they assumed and asserted against us, the everyday gun owner and gun rights advocates out here, yeah, it turns out it was just a little bit preemptive and stupid. Just a smidgen. Everything that I'm about to show you is linked in the description box below. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and please turn that notification bell on. The subscriptions are disappearing all the time, so make sure your prescription of freedom is not eaten up by the YouTube algorithm because this is important information that you guys have to know. Because what we've been talking about is something that's really important to understand. What is going on with this, Georgia, this uh, tragedy in Georgia? Now, before I dive into this, I just want to say something really important. That I think this is a key point that you need to send out. I live a life where I am blessed beyond measure for the opportunity to travel around this country and meet and greet and see the gun owners of which they consistently malign in the gun controlling politicians, gun controlling leftist media, and pretty much anybody on the left. They malign you as a person who is a bitter clinger. You're holding on your guns and religion. They don't see what I see. I know each and every one of you cherishes your Second Amendment right, not only for yourself, but to pass on to the next generation. And you're all very similar in a mindset of these are blessings, these are rights, this is a responsibility, and you're not going to take it from us. I respect that. And I cherish that because you guys are all in unison of the same cord, of the same cloth. Now, when these people come forward and they try to go after you and malign you as something different, mm -mm, nope. Nope. They are ceding the moral high ground. They will not be granted it anymore because what we're about to show you is stuff that's happening in red states and it's going to be reported all over the place and it's not happening in blue states when it's all about the children. Okay, The moral high ground thing that they try to take on the gun control side, gun control politicians, and then blast you for how dare you hold to your rights. Yeah, let's get it. It will not be tolerated anymore, at least on this channel or any channels I'm affiliated with. Let's get it. Father of Georgia school shooting suspect told investigators he purchased the gun as a holiday present for son, sources say. As you can see, this was breaking as of about an hour ago. Now, this is coming after, so this is Christmas of 2023. Well, you know what else happened in 2023? Yeah, in May, the FBI visited this kid for threatening to shoot up a school. It's fully reported. You guys can look it up yourselves. May of 2023, FBI knocks on the door, talks to the father and the son, saying, hey, why'd you threaten to shoot up a school? December, the father gives him an AR, and then right after that, in what is it now? September of 2024, less than nine months after it was gifted, this is what just happened. You still want to tell me that the problem lies specifically with the inanimate object or with the gun manufacturers or the gun lobby as the left would try to morally browbeat you down? It's not. The problem is a people problem. It is not an inanimate object problem. And we're not going to go and give our rights away, the things that people have bled, sweat, and tears for, because the people are failing. The FBI was there. They knew. The police were there. They knew. The father was there. The father knew. All the things and issues at hand here are related to people issues, personnel issues, decision issues, and judgment issues. They are not related to a Second Amendment right of 330 million people, the people who I referenced earlier, who I will stand up for if I have a voice, and as long as I have a voice, I will stand up for you, because this right here is some crap that they're trying to pin it on you. You had nothing to do with this. All of us had nothing to do with this. This is a problem with judgment, execution, and law, the uh, piece of law involvement. That's where this problem was. And while we're hovering around this, before I show you some more stuff, there was someone in, our, in my previous comments that said I was advocating for red flag laws when I'm point, breaching this point. Uh, there's nothing further from the truth. Red flag laws are an egregious affront, affront to all of our rights specifically the Second Amendment, and multiple amendments of which it violates. I'm not advocating for red flag laws. I am pointing out the fact that the moral high ground that the gun controllers try to seize and then bash you over the head with is invisible, particularly when I show you these things. Let's get into the article here. 
The father of Appalachia High School mass shooting suspect, this person, told investigators this week he had purchased the gun used in the killings as a holiday present for his son in December of 2023, according to two law enforcement sources with direct knowledge of the investigation. So there it is, right there. Okay, he's 14. All the gun control laws that they're going to beat us over the brow with wouldn't have any anything whatsoever to do with being able to prevent this tragedy. It is a tragedy. These children and these teachers should not be deceased. But there were a lot of failures along the way, and the failure wasn't an inanimate object. That's a Second Amendment right. But let's continue, because we got something here. Again, know how you know, I alluded to red state versus blue state? The classroom doors lock automatically, and near the end of class, the suspect knocked on the door to try to come back in, Layla said. Another student went to open the door, but apparently saw the gun and refused to let him in. Hmm. Keep a pin in that for a second. The doors automatically locked. This is in Georgia. You remember what Chris Murphy said where he browbeat Georgia and said, oh, that's a gun-friendly state and they're owned by the gun lobby? That's weird. The, Georgia has funding for SROs and doors automatically locking and that doesn't sound like no one cares. Hence, the moral high ground is no longer theirs. Okay, let's keep going. Because, again, as long as I have a voice, I will try to um, use it for you guys. Father of Georgia high school shooting suspect arrested. Hmm. Interesting. That happened an hour after the article I just showed you where he admitted to buying the gun for the kid. Let me jump down here into what he's being charged for. Actually, no, I, I, um, I don't see it on here. I had highlighted it. Hold on one second. Maybe it got a little bit lower in the... Uh... Yeah, here we go. I'm sorry. The GBI recently announced that Colin Gray was charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter. This is the father. Two counts of second-degree murder and eight counts of cruelty to children in connection to the shooting. Does that, does that sound like an inanimate object? Or does that sound like something else is going on? Now, personal experience. I'm from Georgia. I grew up... 35 years of my life in Georgia, okay? Georgia doesn't do things like this, like Michigan would or California would or New York would, just on a whim to make a political statement. Georgia is pretty, like, by the book. So if you genuinely did something that warrants this amount of charges, I'm going to wait before I make any kind of comment on it because typically in Georgia, they don't play like that. All right, so now, remember that thing I told you about the doors locked automatically again this is from cnn okay i just want to remind you what chris uh, murphy said this morning about how red states don't care and they're doing nothing and just do something yeah it that kind of flies in the face when you talk to this teacher who said this today on cnn check this out we heard from uh, school administrators, we heard from police that there's this new system that was put in place in your school just uh, a week prior uh, that the door is locked. And, and so describe what, what that did um, and how that created a much, much safer and much less deadly incident uh, this time around in a school. Hmm. Yes, ma'am. So I believe the program is called Centerjex. Basically, every teacher has a little like um, digital card on them where we can press a button. Um, where uh, four presses gets our admin involved, and then eight presses of the button uh, gets um, law enforcement sent to the high school and alerts that you know there is a you know a physical threat on campus. How important was it to have that in place? There, not all schools have it. Certainly, uh, how important was this? Because you said that the officers got there about two minutes, 120 seconds uh, from the time of the initial shooting. Uh, critical. Uh, I will tell you that I actually saw the lockdown initiate before uh, I even heard gunshots. So I had time to prepare. Someone saw the threat even before uh, he started to engage. So it's almost like we, we knew before anything truly even happened before, you know, lives were taken. So it's 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 insane, uh, the technology that we have access to. And we practice it quite a bit. Uh, with our administration. They've done a great job in preparing our staff in these kind of situations. And I just want to say God bless them for doing that and the hard work that they put into those scenarios. Judge Tiger. Okay. Judge oh, easy. All right. I just want to I just want to throw one thing out there really quickly. And this is this is a very important piece to this. So we had red states, and this is in Georgia, by the way, Georgia funded and approved mandated safety buttons that are in every single classroom. That doesn't sound like red states are doing nothing that are owned by the gun lobby. 
Then we had, in this case, teachers who had cards or lanyards, something on their person that can alert A, the administration, or B, the actual police, and the response time is two minutes. Okay, just so you know, the national response time is 11 to 15. Okay, J just so you put it in full context. After that, you had this entire lockdown initiated by teachers with that exact same button and technology before shots were even fired, saving God knows how many lives. Remember the first article I told you, the door was locked and they would open it from the inside? The lockdown was initiated and an SRO went to the location instantly and stopped the, the uh, offending action as it was going down. So this is the part of the story where we talk about the moral high ground that the left really likes to take for the gun control debate. Yeah, it's gone. Do you have anything like this in California, New York, Illinois? No, you don't. You don't have anything like this. You know why? Because the left, Davey Hogg particularly, and all those acolytes on Twitter, bash the idea that you come out with a solution to stop the bleeding, so to speak, before you deal with the deeper issues like the mental health and all the begging for help and cries for help, which we've talked about multiple times. So in the red states that are being bludgeoned by the moral high ground from the left, the likes of Senator Chris Murphy, we've got implication, impl um, implementation inside schools that can not only initiate lockdowns by any teacher who sees anything scary, it happens instantly, and an SRO is, is immediately routed to that location, which is on school, with a gun, by the way, and then the police show up two minutes later, and you want to browbeat the people who want to respect the Second Amendment for this generation and the next generation by not doing anything. I just showed you CNN. The father was aware of what was going on. The FBI was aware of what was going on. The police was going on, were aware of what was going on. They gave him an or the father gave him an AR-15 anyway after threatening a school shooting, and now the father is arrested. So when you look at both ends of this spectrum, you're telling me that all the things that just happened to prevent as much carnage as possible were bad, but guns are the problem. Guys, as long as I have the voice, I will use the voice, and I think this is something you need to know. Let me know what you think in the comments field. Let me know if I land on this plane, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.